What is up guys and welcome back to a new video on this beautiful, beautiful channel. As always, with every single new video we got a new perspective <laughs> for the camera. I'm sorry, but now um, I've got the TV right in front of me and the camera a little bit further down so you have the perfect angle for my face, I believe. Like, the microphone is a bit too high, I know that, um, but I'm still trying to figure out how to make the sound still good and the microphone a little bit further away. So, anyway. Today, a little different video, because um, in the last few days, I've watched a ton load of Blackpink videos, which you can all see on my channel, um, for everyone who is new. I'm a new Blink, so you've got the full journey of my um, self to become a Blink on this channel. Every videos about Blackpink I've watched are on this channel online, so go and feel free to watch everything. Um, but lately, in my feed, in my recommendations on YouTube, I've got some videos concerning the health about Jenny. Um, I don't know what is up, but I got like two or three videos, like constantly, constantly in my recommendations, um, with titles like Jenny needs our help or Jenny might be in danger. Um, we have to do something about Jenny. So I was concerned and a bit scared um, that I missed some, like, I don't know, mental health state of her or something but her instagram uh, on her instagram she seems fine so i don't really know what is going on but today we are going to find out what is going on with jenny there is a really popular video which is um called jenny is not okay and we have to do something um like i don't know what's going on but we are going to watch it it has like nearly three million views and is a uh, barely two weeks old, so I believe that is the best video which explains the whole situation. Um, the link to the original video is down in the description below. Um, feel free to subscribe if you want like enough or, or like, I don't know, two or three videos about Blackpink more um, daily. So yeah, we're going to watch it. It's from Blackpink T, where the T is spilled, I guess. Um, damn. I, I really hope it's just a video like yeah, she, she, she looks not alright, but she is alright. So I'm a little bit scared because I really like Jenny. Anyway, we're going to watch it. Whew, let's go. Hey, what's up everyone? Yes, I'm back with more tea and this time it's about Jenny. Okay. By the way, I'm using the robot voice because it would be hard to type everything I want to say. And okay. if I used my real voice, overly protective Jenny stands would probably hunt me down. So that's why I'm using the robot voice. I right. hope it's not annoying. No, it's okay. Now, before I start, I want to give a quick disclaimer. Everything I'm about to say is based on my observations. You don't have to agree okay. with everything, but this is just from my point of view. If you have a... Okay, so basically, basically, he discovered there might be something going on with Jenny. ...differing opinion, feel free to comment it. Okay. But I better not see any hate comments because this is not a video meant to bash Jenny. I am genuinely concerned for her. Anyway, oh, that's damn, enough okay. chit chat. Let's get on with the video. Let's damn. begin with when people first started noticing Jenny was acting different. Yes, I'm talking about the lazy scandal. In what November lazy scandal? 2018, videos of Jenny dancing particularly lazily on stage began circling the internet. I'm going to show you a clip of her lazy dancing that went viral. Watch her in comparison to the other members of Blackpink. Oh yeah, all right. She's a bit off. Well, yeah, she is a bit Out off. Out of nowhere, Jenny was lacking energy and seemed almost lifeless on stage. This was especially weird because she was always known for her amazing stage presence and ability to hype up the crowd. For example, look at this clip from 2016. Oh, that is a cool entrance. Haven't seen any of the live performances except of one so far. The difference is undeniable. Some fans were excusing this by saying she was tired or she had motion sickness. But Jenny was also receiving a lot of hate. She was losing many fans. People what? called her lazy, arrogant, and disrespectful to the other what? Blackpink members. Some were even saying she Go away, Jenny Blackpink don't need you anymore? What the fuck is wrong with the people? Like, how can you hate on somebody who was 
like obviously a bit tired like um, I believe in the K-pop industry everybody like everybody is overworked everybody has a lack of sleep everybody is like training so hard every day and is on tour and has um, a show there uh, has to fly back home has to be in like I don't know up to four or five countries in one week so it's really hard and exhausting so that is like my, my uh, conclusion why she is a bit off and a bit tired on stage but why are people like backlashing her now arrogant and disrespectful to the other blackpink members like some were even saying she would be the downfall of so blackpink disrespectful. if she didn't get it together the excessive backlash jenny was receiving probably affected her because she looked sad in some of her She's following even crying on stage but yeah the whole lazy scandal was just the beginning of jenny acting unusual this leads me to my next point which is an interview jenny did towards the end of 2018. this interview honestly creeps me out Jenny is what? acting super awkward and fidgety, and she literally looks like she is having a mental breakdown. Just watch this clip and you'll see what I mean. Alright, she. Okay, she she's like she's acting a bit weird. She's like constantly moving and she's giving like a little bit of weird answers to the questions. Damn, now now I am also concerned about her. Damn. Did you hear that? She said the last song she listened to was a Blackpink song. Yeah. That is highly unlikely. And yes, I added that dramatic background music to enhance the creepiness. But it worked so well, didn't it? That's because yeah. Jenny herself was being shady enough. Most of the comments on the original video are mentioning how sad and uneasy she looks. Anyway, she just seemed so unlike herself in that interview. Yeah, I believe but that's she, not all. She is just During like this sleep. time, many fans were worried Jenny was going in a downward spiral. But then something unexpected happened. What? I think a few days after that interview was the dating scandal. What? In case she was dating someone? No, Jenny was exposed for being in a relationship on January 1st, 2019. Well, they're this not doesn't allowed to. really connect to anything, but Jenny continued to look sad after they were exposed. And when they broke up, yeah, she still looked sad, so I don't really know what happened there. Damn. Overall, like, the reaction from fans I believe... was mostly positive, so I guess she was more upset about the invasion of privacy. Yeah, I believe that is... That is the main thing. She became inactive on her Instagram, not posting for nearly a month. But Damn. yeah, that's all I have to say about that. In the past few months, Jenny was finally starting to act like her old self again. Yeah. She regained her energy and overall looked much happier. Don't get me wrong. There had been little incidents here and there, like, yeah, some shady and questionable moments, but people didn't make too big of a deal out of it and everything was fine. But not for long. More recently, Jenny is acting up again. This brings me to my final point. The sickness. Honestly I don't know what else to call it so that's why I'm calling it the sickness. Recently, there were suspicious incidents where it seemed as if Jenny was not healthy and she was not taking care of herself fans really started to worry when Jenny was obviously not well during the shoppy event on June 6. Watch this next clip. If you oh. pay attention, you can see that Jenny is having trouble breathing oh, and is on no. the verge of tears. No, she doesn't look good. She, she really doesn't look good. Is the dress too tight? Like, is the dress too tight? After the no. event, Jenny posted an Instagram story where she said that she's okay basically telling fans not to worry everyone believed her but then came the blackpink concert a few days later 
Jenny left the stage mid-concert and didn't what? return. Once again, something was up. I just think this is strange because Jenny had told fans nothing was wrong, but stuff well, like obviously this something happening. is going on. And even though nothing has happened since then, I'm still worried. I'm not trying to be overly dramatic, but you can't deny she has been acting shady for a while now. But once again I want to make it clear that this is not a hate video. Damn. I made this video because I truly believe something is wrong like, with Jenny. But she of left course the stage. none of us know what's going on in her personal life. So I might just be serious. hope she can overcome whatever's bothering her. You can comment if you disagree or have another thought. I'll be happy to read your opinion. But don't try to drag me when I'm literally just worried. Besides, I know a lot of well, other I'm people feel too now. this way too. In fact, the reason I even looked into it in the first place was because of how much people were talking about it. Yeah. So I'm just bringing awareness. Okay, oh, that's no. all I have to say. Thanks for watching, and also let me know if I should do more videos like this. Yeah, please. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Damn. Like, I'm... I'm seriously, like, concerned now what is going on with her. Well, as I said, in the K-pop industry, um, you all know, like, the contracts are strict. Um, they are working, I don't know, up to 17, 18 hours a day, at least um, as they were trainees. And now it's not better. Like, they have to do so much media. They have to rehearse all day long. Um, they have to do all kinds of stuff. And it is exhausting. Like, they are all having a lack of sleep. They are all, like, constantly um, in, in, new, in, in new countries, like, constantly moving around. Barely their days off, I believe. So, maybe it is that, that she is just, like... I, I believe there there are also clips of Lisa, of Jisoo and of Rose on stage like acting a little bit weird or like a little bit off in the in the movement in the choreo. But there was a lot of stuff and the last one where where she just left the stage mid concert. Like an an artist and singer tries to um do as much as I can to let the show go on. Like the show must go on. Everybody knows uh, the famous phrase, so um, it was like serious stuff then when she left the stage, I believe. I hope she's okay, like, I hope she's okay. Um, I believe YG would not um, let something out if she's really, like, in a bad state or if she's really sick. YG would not um, allow to um, let it out to the media. It would be a, a mega backlash for YG um, to uh, let the the artist like be overworked. So YG would not let um, it out to the media if she's like in danger. I believe. Well, I hope I hope she's okay. Let me know in the comments below if you know anything new. Like the video is uh, like as I said two weeks um, old. Let me know in the comments below if you know anything more about it if there are more videos i should watch about this topic but i'm like seriously seriously concerned about jenny right now well the way she left the stage and the way she she was on stage and could barely breathe i really thought she's gonna faint in one or two seconds so i really hope she's okay um let me know in the comments below if we should watch more videos of this kind of stuff about recent um, T about Blackpink. Damn, I hope she's okay. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments what you think of this video. And then I say we are going to see us in the next video, which is coming out in a few hours. Damn. I'm in a bad mood now. Damn it! <laughs> um, so, that was it for me, guys. Bye.